air. In this lesson, we are going to learn about air. We all know that all living things require air. But have you ever seen air? You might not have seen air. But surely you must have felt its presence in so many ways. You notice it when the leaves of the trees rustle or the clothes hanging on a clothesline sway. Pages of an open book begin fluttering when the fan is switched on. The moving air makes it possible for you to fly your kite. Have you seen a weathercock? It shows the direction in which the air is moving at that place. Student, our earth is surrounded by a thin layer of air. This layer extends up to many kilometers above the surface of the earth and it is called atmosphere. Oxygen. Oxygen is found in air in the free state. It is also present in water in the dissolved state. All living things survive on water. Now let us perform a small activity to see how oxygen is prepared in laboratory. Take a mixture of potassium chlorate and manganese dioxide in the proportion of 5 is to 1 in a test tube. Okay? Now heat the test tube to 300 degrees Celsius. You will see gas bubbles rising into the water filled gas jar inverted over the water. Oxygen starts taking place in the gas jar. As oxygen fills more and more of the space in the gas jar. The level of water in it keeps falling. Oxygen is slightly heavier than air and it is collected by the downward displacement of water. Remember, manganese dioxide does not actually take part in this reaction. It acts as a catalyst. Physical properties of oxygen are, it is a colorless, odorless, tasteless gas. Chemical property. Let us perform an activity to study chemical properties. Take a gas jar full of oxygen. Lower a lighted candle in the jar on a deflagrating spoon. Observe that it burns with a brighter flame. Activity. Take a piece of wood. Burn it. When it is burning low, blow on it with a blower. The fire flares up and begins to burn vigorously. After some time, the burning slows down again. From this activity, we conclude the oxygen does not itself burn but supports burning. Uses of Oxygen 1. Living things need oxygen for respiration. 2. Artificial oxygen is supplied if a person is unable to breathe. 3. Mountaineers and divers are supplied with oxygen cylinders. 4. Flames of the mixture oxyhydrogen temperature 2800 degrees Celsius and used for welding. Nitrogen The greatest proportion of air consists of nitrogen. Nitrogen is an important constituent of proteins. Nitrogen is important for the growth of living things. Nitrogen fixation The conversion of atmospheric nitrogen into compounds like ammonia and nitrates which can be used by living things is called nitrogen fixation. This is brought about by both biological and atmospheric factors. Now first, biological fixation. Microorganisms that brings about nitrogen fixation are of two kinds. One of these types is found in the nodules on the root of certain plants while the other types are found in the soil. Microorganism in the nodules absorbs the nitrogen from the air and converts it into nitrogen compounds. The microorganisms in the soil converts atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia, nitrous acid and nitric acid and eventually into nitrates. Atmospheric fixation 
when there is lightning in the sky atmospheric nitrogen and oxygen combine to form nitric oxide this nitric oxide is oxidized again and nitrogen dioxide is formed nitrogen dioxide dissolves in rain water and finally forms nitric acid this nitric acid falls to earth dissolve in rain water there it reacts with the salts in the soil to form nitrates plants use these nitrates for their own growth thus nitrogen in the air becomes available to living things after biological and atmospheric fixation through excretion and decay of living things as well as through burning nitrogen compounds get decomposed thus nitrogen is released back into the atmosphere that is how the proportion of nitrogen in the atmosphere remains constant some use of nitrogen one nitrogen is useful for the growth of living things two nitrogen is used for producing fertilizers three nitrogen is used in industry for the large scale production of ammonia and nitric acid four nitrogen is used for making thermometers for measuring very high temperature carbon dioxide is present in air plants use carbon dioxide from the air during photosynthesis and release oxygen into air this process takes place in the presence of sunlight now let us perform an activity to see the presence of water vapor in air take a clean glass dry its outer surface place some pieces of ice in the glass you will soon see little droplets of water collecting on the outer surface of the glass the water vapor in the air condenses and collects on the glass in the form of fine droplets clouds and fog are formed by the condensation of water vapor the inert gases argon helium and neon which are among the other constituents of air have many uses argon is used in electric bulbs helium is used to obtain very low temperatures while neon is used in the neon lights on hoardings that display advertisements air pollution industrialization is taking place at rapid pace pollution is being caused by contaminated water dust soot chemicals especially gases released in the atmosphere by the burning of carbon and sulfur lead aluminum zinc acids bases etc these also causes pollution which are let out in the atmosphere which pollutes the environment atmospheric pollution leads to a higher incidence of respiratory disorders cancer of the urinary bladder high blood pressure night blindness etc it also causes palpitation breathlessness and psychological disorders too pollution is on such a high rise that now it is affecting animals and plants also life span of animals is decreasing the capacity for producing milk has also decreased in plants there is fall in photosynthetic production leaves are falling untimely absence of fruiting etc the government and the public have both taken up the task of controlling atmospheric pollution some of the remedies are as follows one plants should be grown to help reduce pollution of air two engines of motor vehicles should be serviced and maintained properly to prevent them from causing pollution three 
Industrial estates should be established away from cities and the height of the chimney should be increased to prevent the harm caused by air pollution. 4. A law has been enacted making it mandatory to treat chemical waste before letting it out of a factory. Acid Drain Factories in big cities emit nitrogen dioxide and sulfur dioxide gases. As rain falls, these gases dissolve in it, forming nitrous acid and sulfurous acid. With the rainwater, these acids fall to the ground. That is what it is called acid rain. Acid rain also causes yellow patches on marble. This can sometimes cause trees to die and fall. The main constituents of air are nitrogen, oxygen and carbon dioxide. Respiration in living things and burnings are the important uses of oxygen. Nitrogen in the air helps in the nourishment of plants and animals. Increasing population and industrial growth causes atmospheric pollution. Efforts are being made both by the government and society to arrest pollution. So that is all in this lesson, student. Let us keep our environment pollution-free. The main constituents of air are nitrogen,